gift of Maureen Nation. <laughs> Pastor Melly, welcome. We're delighted to be with you in worship in person or with us on WTND Radio. If you're with us in cyberspace on YouTube or Facebook and you're inspired, comment or give us a call. I'm Pastor Scott Grolke, with me serving as Pastor Melly Momo. We're planning a Streaming Waters Work Week, June 14th, that week. Check out a clip about this servant ministry. Hello, I'm Carolyn Grow, and I'm the chair of the Streaming Waters Work Week. And we are so excited that we're gonna get a start um, the Streaming Waters again this year. Um, it is gonna be held June the 14th through the 18th. Um, and we're looking for volunteers to sign up right now. If you're not aware, Streaming Waters is a local mission project that we do through McDonough County. We do some um, minor home repairs to help people stay in their own home. This year we've got about 14 projects picked out that include building a ramp, we're gonna repair a deck, replace some steps, a railing, we're gonna do some yard work, um, clean some gutters, do some painting, some deck staining, power washing, so a little bit of everything. So what we're doing right now is signing up volunteers that are willing to help us go out and actually do the projects. Our normal hours are eight to five, and you can do all day or part day, and then we are gonna do a shift from five to eight in the evening also if we have enough volunteers. So we're signing up volunteers in the atrium. We're also signing up volunteers online. Wesley's website, there is a banner that has a stream of waters on it. You click on the banner and go to the very bottom, and there's you can download the form. Um, the form looks like this. If you can't find the form online, you can call the church office at 309-833-2153, and our secretary, Tammy, will email you a form or we can send it to you in the mail. Just get the form back to the church office so we can see how many volunteers that we have signed up so we can make sure we're able to do these projects. We're also looking for people to volunteer to be on our prayer team. They pray for the projects before we start, during the project, and also pray for all of our volunteers and our homeowners um, we're also looking for a kitchen help um, to help prepare meals and also deliver meals. The meals are provided to all of the workers and also the homeowners. So we're looking to get people signed up as soon as we can so we can make sure we get the projects done. And we're so excited that we're going to get to do it again this year. All the projects are going to be outside. Um, masks will be worn when we need to. We hope uh, most people have been vaccinated, um, but we'll pair you up with whoever you're comfortable working with. Also, something new this year is if family members would like to take one of the projects and pick whom they're comfortable working with, maybe just your family or another group of people, you can do the project before the work week, during the work week, or after the work week. We would provide all the supplies and everything you need to do the project. Um, just simply notice, let us know if that's something you're interested in doing. So we thank you again, and we hope you'll get signed up soon. If you've got questions, I'm going to put a slide at the end of this presentation that'll have um, contact information and um, let us know what you can do. And if nothing else, give us a prayer and we'll be very glad um, to have any of your assistance. Thank you. Please stand if you are able. God is good all the time. Yes, please stand for a call to worship. Christ, our shepherd, calls us here. God's gate of love is swung wide. Jesus, our brother, welcomes us home. The family of God embraces us all. We respond to the good shepherd in prayer. God of love and grace, as you welcome us this day, at you now our ears to hear your voice, strengthen us to walk as you call. Protect us from harm, nourish us in your word, so that we may devote ourselves to the journey. In the name of the Good Shepherd, we pray. Amen. Please continue standing for the prayer song. He knows my name.
you heard the story about the three little pigs? Yes. And Little Red Riding Hood? Yes. And the boy who cried wolf? Yes. All of the big bad wolf. Yes, all of these stories have a big bad wolf. Did you know that Jesus told a story about a big bad wolf? No. Yes. In Jesus' story, he is the good shepherd and we are his sheep. The wolf in Jesus' story, <laughs> he is God's enemy. Here's what Jesus said in the Bible. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. His hired hand might run away when he sees a wolf because the sheep do not belong to him. 
so he doesn't really care for them. So when the wolf comes, he runs away, and the wolf will attack and scatter the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me, just as the father knows me, and I know my father. I will lay my life down for my sheep. Jesus knows us, and he loves us. He will protect us when the enemy tries to hurt us. When we trust Jesus, we get to say, Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Not me. Not me. Let's pray. God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our shepherd, to protect us from evil. Help us to follow him and protect others as he protects us. Amen. I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world, yes, we're the church together. Perhaps you've noticed in the bulletin lots of prayer concerns. Perhaps you have people that are in your hearts that you're also concerned about but whose names are not before us. God knows. God knows your name and God knows their name. In prayer today, I'd like to begin with uh, the words of the poet, Dorothy Thrupp, who prayed. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. Much we need thy tender care. In thy pleasant pastures, feed us. For our use, thy folds prepare. Lead us and lead those who lead us, those of our government, those of our community, those of our church. We acknowledge that we are ultimately dependent on your providence. We ask that you nourish, maintain, and care for us Lead us to be extensions of that same care for the earth and of the people of the earth. Lord, you know that deep in our hearts are hidden thoughts and motives which sometimes emerge in hurtful ways. Forgive us in the name of the Good Shepherd who continues to teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. If you're inspired and want to support Wesley Church Ministries, today you may leave a gift at the exit of the sanctuary or mail offerings to 1212 West Calhoun Street, Macomb, Illinois. For these gifts, let's pray. Lord, these are extensions of our love to serve you and to serve a world that is truly suffering. Bless and multiply multiply these gifts, our work in this community and beyond this community. In Jesus' name, amen.
Please stand if you are able and join me for the affirmation of faith, Psalm 23rd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Please continue standing for the reading of the gospel. In John's gospel, chapter 10, beginning in verse 11, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. You may be seated. Good Shepherd, lead us. Lead us to understand your words, your promise, your impact on our faithful journey. In your name, amen. From the ancient Jewish hymnal, the tune is lost. The poetic lyrics remain as the most popular in the Bible. The Lord is my shepherd. 
The words resonate in Jewish and Christian hearts. They suggest a a divine providence for the earth. They address every single human need. There's even a translation of Psalm 23 written for school students. I don't know if you knew this. It begins like this. I have a math teacher I shall not pass. He maketh me to show my ignorance before the whole class. He giveth me more than I can learn. He lowereth my grade. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of knowledge, I cannot learn. He fireth questions in me in the presence of my classmates. He anointeth my head with oil, not with oil, but problems. My notebook runneth over. Surely fractions and decimals shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the math class forever. (laughs) Take a journey with me in your mind to Israel. It helps to give depth to Psalm 23 and the practice of sheep herding. Some of the topography there is rich and fertile, but much of the terrain is unacceptable for agriculture. The strata are filled with rocks of eons past and the irrigation is poor. What the hills do provide, grazing land, especially in the rainy seasons. The ancient shepherd carried a script bag of food, a sling, a staff, a rod. A contemporary shepherd may keep a rifle and a faithful dog to protect the sheep. But the shepherd's most critical tool still remains her voice. The sheep depend on the shepherd for survival. The shepherd depends on the sheep for sustenance. The essential connection between the two, the shepherd's voice. In Psalm 23, you can hear the shepherd David. You hear his personal affirmation of faith when he says, The Lord is my shepherd. He was not speaking for all Israel. He was speaking for himself. The Lord is my shepherd. It's a bold, personal statement. He's dedicating himself to the divine shepherd as the guardian of the soul, of his soul. The Lord is my shepherd. Jesus remembered the poetry of David. He personalized it. He contemporized it. He modeled it as the good shepherd. Now, Ezekiel referred to the priests of Israel as shepherds. They were supposed to be guardians of the souls. Ezekiel criticizes them and every faith leader when there is inauthenticity, insincerity, Egocentricity, he writes, You shepherds of Israel, you who have been feeding yourselves, you eat the fat, you clothe yourselves, you slaughter the fatlings, but you do not feed the sheep. You've not strengthened the weak, you've not healed the sick, you've not bound up the injured, you've not brought back the strayed, you've not sought the lost. In opposition to that, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. What is it that makes him good? In personal terms, the good shepherd knows your name, leads you out, cares for you on the way, and for you, he gave up everything. This sheep herding analogy is embedded 400 times in the Hebrew scriptures and the gospels. Maybe you don't appreciate being compared to a sheep. They're not the cleanest. They're not the strongest. But they do have some intelligence among God's creatures. Cattle have to be pushed. 
A whistle, a hoot, a crack of a whip will move cattle. You crack a whip behind a flock of sheep and they'll scatter. So the scriptures compare us because we can presumably be led, directed by someone wiser. Someone whose voice calls us, and Jesus, the good shepherd, he fits the quality. Verse 3, he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. Jesus is the good shepherd because he knows your name. Barbara Brown Taylor, the Episcopal priest and author of The Voice of the Shepherd, has written, sheep consider shepherds as family. They develop a language of their own, the the shepherd's cluck of the tongue. It it might mean food, a two-note whistle. It may mean it's time to go home. Taylor goes on to say that today Bedouin sheep herders sometimes use the same watering hole for eight or nine flocks. They all get mingled When it's time to go home, the shepherd issues his or her distinctive call. The sheep hear it, they know it, they respond to it, and slowly separate themselves to their own shepherd. Verse 3, the gatekeeper opens the gate for the sheep, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. By the way, uh, before I forget this moment, how about those three bell choir members performing that piece under Kathy Swanson? Our praise band under the direction of Dr. Jason Hawkins today shared a few minutes ago a song, He Knows My Name. It was written by Thomas Lee Walker. I have a maker. He formed my heart before even time began. My life was in his hands. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls and hears me when I call. Jesus is the good shepherd because he knows your name. He leads you out. Verse 3 and 4, Jesus said that the shepherd leads the sheep out when he has brought out his own all his own, he goes ahead of them. Then he goes ahead of them. As a high school sophomore, in 1972, I joined my friend Dan Holmes. You've heard Dan in concert. We were young, younger, I know. You don't think I was ever young, but I was younger. As that high school sophomore, with a group of 13 other youth at the United Methodist Youth Camp on the boundary waters of Ontario, Canada, over a two week period, Tom, anytime you want to start those, over a two week period, we canoed and portaged 150 miles across Quetico Provincial Park. It's a rugged wilderness of one million acres. Without a guide, you will be lost. Well, in retrospect, if we would have listened to our two adult guides, (laughs) we would have avoided getting lost. We would have also avoided the ticks and the leeches and the black bears tearing up our food packs while we sat around the campfire. 40 feet away. Eventually, we came to trust the knowledge and skill of our guides. When the writer of Psalm 23 said, the Lord is my shepherd, he was saying that God is the one who guides us through the wilderness, keeps us on the right path, and leads us out. Jesus is the good shepherd because he knows your name. He leads you out. He cares for you on the way. 
Psalm 23, verse 4, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. Matthew tells us in chapter 9 of his gospel, Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Do you feel harassed by the day's demands? Frustrated or helpless to get where you need to be? Do you have fears in the night or need comfort during the day? Phyllis Provost has written a short story to provide that sense of comfort. It begins this way. What was that? Someone is out there. The girl turned to her brother in fear. His eyes widened. The shadow slowly brushed past the doorway. The intruder paused. What would he do? Would he hurt them? The two remained where they were, huddled together, trembling in fear at the unfamiliar figure. Again, he started toward them, but he was stopped short by a blinding light, caused the stranger to disappear into the night. The two siblings clung tightly to each other. Suddenly, a shadow filled the doorway again. Had the truder returned? They shut their eyes tight until they heard a familiar voice. Leah, Avram, it's all right. I'm here. They rushed toward the one they loved. They were safe. Softly, the shepherd motioned to them and led the willing lambs out of their pen into the light. Jesus said, which of you... He said, which of you having a hundred sheep and losing one of them does not leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors saying to them, rejoice with me. Friends, rejoice with me. I have found my sheep that was lost. Luke 15. Jesus is the good shepherd because he knows your name. He leads you out. He cares for you on the way. And for you, he would give up everything. John 10, verses 11 and 15. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Just as the father knows me and I know the father And I lay down my life for the sheep. I lay down my life in order to take it up again. Those who join Wesley Church, like any United Methodist Church, take vows which include this question. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior? Put your whole trust in his grace. Now, setting aside complex theories about the meaning of atonement, when you take this vow, it is to perceive that the Good Shepherd knows you, leads you, cares for you, and gave up everything. Not just for a small flock, not even for a world of lost sheep, but for you. For me. It leads us to pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Good Shepherd, lead us. Lead us to places of refreshment. Lead us out of danger. Lead us to where we do not want to go, but where we can be of service to others in need. Teach us to be faithful trusting and obedient in your name. Amen. We're going to sing. We're going to sing.
really, yeah, with masks, but we're going to sing. If you'll stand and join together, the, the choir has pre-recorded. They'll be leading us. The King of Love, My Shepherd is, the words will be up on the screens. from Hebrews chapter 13. Now may the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant equip you with everything good that you may do his will working in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. He may be seen. 